Good morning children. I am Jack and I am going to engage your class today. Do you like me? I have some interesting videos with me. And by watching all these videos, you will understand how our body parts help us in our day to day life. Shall we go to class? Okay. Hello there! I will now need your full attention for we are to meet the important body parts without which we cannot eat or play or even live for a long time. These body parts are really special. What's more, we cannot see them because they are all inside our body. The heart pumps blood and the blood vessels deliver it throughout the body. At the center of the cardiovascular system is the heart. It is a muscle about the size of your fist. It's located behind your rib cage and a little to the left of the middle of your chest. The ribs protect your heart. That is why whenever you fall down or get hit in the chest, your heart is safe. Your heart pumps the blood through the body, through arteries and veins. These are like little little roads in your body. The blood carries the good nice oxygen and nutrients that the body needs and carries away the rotten, dirty carbon dioxide and chemical waste so that the body can get rid of them. That is the most important organ in your body. You could not live without a heart. And that is why you need to take care of your heart and keep it really, really healthy. These are the main things that you can do to keep your heart healthy. Eat healthy foods. Exercise every day. And live life tobacco free. We all love to eat, don't we? Digestion or the breaking down of food into small molecules that will be absorbed into your bloodstream begins when you put food into your mouth. Your teeth help to break the food apart, saliva helps to soften the food and your tongue helps to push the food into your throat and down into your esophagus which is a soft tube that is connected to your stomach. The stomach, your little tummy, is a sac. It receives the food from the esophagus. Your stomach is located just below your heart. The stomach makes digestive juices which include the acids and the enzymes that help to break down food into a thick liquid or paste. Your stomach is a muscular organ that is able to move in order to mix the food with the digestive juices. Food usually remains in the stomach for about a couple of hours. From the stomach, the mashed up food moves into the soft long tube known as the small intestine where most of the digestion takes place. The liver makes a yellowish green fluid called the bile. Bile and the digestive enzymes from the pancreas help release the nutrients so they can be absorbed and circulated around your body in the bloodstream. The blood brings the fats, proteins, vitamins and carbohydrates including the sugars to the liver which helps make them into building blocks that the body needs to work and grow. The body does not digest all the food we eat. The undigested food 
leaves a small intestine and then enters a large intestine. The large intestine is about 5 feet long. So, it is shorter than the small intestine which is about 25 feet long. But I guess it's called the large intestine because it is thicker or wider than the small intestine. The undigested food enters the large intestine in a liquidy paste. In the large intestine, water is removed from the liquid paste, turning what is left into solid waste. The solid waste then collects in the rectum at the end of the large intestine. This solid waste will finally leave the body through an opening called the anus. And this is what happens when you poop. Keep your digestive system in good shape by eating lots and lots of healthy foods like a lot of fruits and a lot of vegetables. Greasy or fatty foods like fast food can be difficult to digest. So try to eat these foods in moderation. And don't forget, you must drink lots and lots of water. When you take care of your digestive system, it will do you right.